What is up guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo. Welcome back to Don't Starve. Fresh run, brand new beginning. Here we go. Thank you so much for all your support and encouragement on the last one. Willow, she was my baby, my savior, my special character, but we perish at the hands of some pretty prickly penguins. Now though, a new character is in store. And if you guys are excited for this run with all sorts of newfound wisdom, Leave a thumbs up, I would appreciate it. Who are we gonna be? Not Wilson. Not Willow, not Wolfgang. Yes, Wendy indeed is my choice. The girl with the ghost. She has insane ability to control mobs once that is summoned, and I feel like she will be a great and interesting partner for us on this adventure. So boom, Miss Wendy the Bereaved, let's begin. Aha. A fresh world, a fresh girl, and the evil old man with a flower on his flap. Be gone. Wake up, Wendy. Welcome to a whole new world. Why do all the girls in this game have no pupils? Nonetheless, she looks pretty darn cute. More innocent than Willow. Like, Willow definitely had some strange pyromancy practices in her past or in her... I don't know. Something was weird with her mind, but I think Willow was still a, a nice person. Wendy, though, just looks more like an innocent British girl or something <laughs> of that sort, so we should have fun with her. We're gonna collect resources right off the bat, and the goal here is to survive through winter and beyond, to prepare and prep, and I think with newfound knowledge um, and with newfound speed and efficiency, we should be able to make that happen. I don't want day trips where we just end up wandering. While that's fun, it ends up leading us into dire situations um, and so we got to be efficient we got to be focused and we got to have fun so we're going to do our very best uh, to explore this map to find the places we can call home to build what we need to build and to make ourselves the strongest darn wendy that we ever could make now her power you're probably very interested in seeing and it's something that i will I'm gonna try to use before the end of this this video here. How's that? It's Abigail's flower, and it allows her to summon a ghost, her sister actually, who's a ghost, uh, to fight off foes. Now, Wendy, her weakness is that she doesn't hit as hard. Her her health and her hunger and all that are fine. They aren't lowered because of it, and um, in fact, her sanity doesn't really drop as much because of darkness. So she she's got a lot of strong qualities about her. Um, she's really a, a very good character in that sense of the word. And this Abigail. Extra seems like the most interesting side character superpower that I have seen. You know, you think about Wilson's beard, and you think about uh, Willow. Her lighter was really cool. I really enjoyed that. I thought it was quite, quite the the charming, fun use of uh, of stuff. But this ghost ability, I don't know. To me, it just seems so cool, and I can't wait to to see it for myself and to share it with you guys. You know, I played Don't Starve back when it was merely a uh, a Google Chrome browser-based game very early on. It was bare bones. It didn't have half of these features in it. Um, and I really enjoyed it then. But now it's something It's something so much more, something totally different. Uh, it, it's beyond beautiful, I dare say. And I hope that a lot of other companies and devs will take Don't Starve as a template. Um, even more so than Minecraft. I love the fact that you get so attached to your world and characters. And because it's third person, because it has a cute and clever and cool art style, because they have actual names and faces and, and history and, and you know about their families and, and what they're like and they have little quips which we're, we should dive into right now. It's just a tuft of grass, says, uh, says Wendy. I think that you, you, you fall in love with the world. A little bit more, um, and I, I don't know, I just hope that there's more games that kind of riff on this style of survival rather than just Minecraft, 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 because I think there's a lot to be learned and appreciated um, from this kind of a game, which I just, I madly enjoy. And I'm talking a mile a minute because I've been thinking about this run for so long, you know, I was so, I felt so bad. You saw how emotional I got in the last one, and I really want to make this one just one to remember, and so I'm going to work my butt off. Uh, to try and play with as much power as I possibly can. And your comments and, and tips go such a long way. I have I have looked up some stuff, like how Abigail's flower works, so I would know what I'm doing. But really, the, the tips that you guys give me, I read them, take them to heart, and, and that has made this process so much fun. I don't think it would be half as fun without you. And I hope you feel the same way. It's just a real exciting kind of game to share together. Is this like Bunny Haven or what? Like Planet of the Bunnies over here? Um, I would like to find some golden rocks. 
Um, I really need gold. Darkness is coming. I can already build a fire, but which is great for the first day. Uh, Abigail's flower takes a couple days to charge up, so we can't use it right just yet. That's why I'm not, like, activating it right away. Otherwise, I would summon the sister uh, for her massive destructive powers. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how we handle spiders and maybe even tall birds or beefalo or something of the sort with Abigail by our side. Right now, we're just kind of on massive collectathon craziness. I shall have to wait. It's trying to grow up. She seems so innocent. Nature is so bo Wait, wait, wait. You're not... That's not very innocent. That's not so innocent. Why did you say that? <laughs> what do you think about this carrot? It's a carrot that's in the ground. A snack, perchance. She seems nice enough, but perhaps she has a dark past. Perhaps with a sister who's a ghost. Maybe she's into sort of the, the dark arts type thing. She's got a little of that Severus Snape in her heritage, perhaps, that makes necromancy and all sorts of nighttime weirdness uh, a part of her her persona. We'll find out, I guess. Um, let's chop down some more of these goodies. So we're still short of gold. Um, I don't know that we'll be able to gather it before nightfall. I've got a plethora of things, though. Berries that I can cook, carrots that I can cook. Um, we can build a fire pit, so we should probably establish a base camp um, now. Let's see. Um, bunch of rabbits over there. Perhaps the northern segment over here would be a good place to drop pop ourselves down, pop lock and drop, but no dancing from Wendy. I, I can't guarantee that. She seems more of a solitary type sort of person. Um, what's north? It's always hard to find those golden rocks. For some reason, that crow really scared me. It looked a little bit devilish. I'm sure that it wasn't, but it looked like that. We got enough food to last us quite a while. This seems like a nice spot. I know that there's no um, rocks in the, the, the area, but we've got bunnies, we've got all sorts of things. So I'm going to drop... I like to be by some some resources, so I'm going to drop it right in here. We'll plan our, plant our home here for the night and, and begin to, to work on stuff. Um, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. I can't do this until I have a, a science machine and thinking about Princess Jasmine. Um, a whole new world! This is a whole new world, and it's really exciting to be to be doing this. I, talking to my friend, uh, who, who I really got into Don't Starve, and, and he was able to just zoom through the opening beginnings of the game because he learned so much from, from watching me play, and, and now watching myself play, I, I, I think that uh, it, it's fun to see that, you know, with a little bit of practice, you can really get a long way quickly. That was the whole point of that story about my friend who likes Don't Starve, is that um, once you get into it, it, it sort of changes the game because it's it's less about working your way through things. You kind of know the algorithms. You know the, the inner workings of the game. You know sort of the code behind uh, the scene. You can you can see how things are, are integrating and working together, and now it's, let's, let's not just try to put the pieces together, but now let's use those pieces to really survive and be awesome. It's kind of how I feel about this run, um, which should be exciting for all of us. Can make a grass too, but we're so close to log. Why the heck not wait? Um, I need more rocks and I need gold, so that's going to be our goal for day two. Abigail's flower is still all locked up. You'll see that being by fire doesn't raise our sanity, but it hasn't really lowered itself due to darkness or anything like that. She's a strong-willed. I almost call her a strong-willed Sally. That would be quite crazy because her name isn't Sally. Um, it's Wendy, and Wendy is wonderful, and she's going to be a friend for many a day. I can already tell that. Let's journey northward a little bit here and see if we might be lucky enough to run into some, uh, I don't know, some rock. It would be nice to find some, some gold nuggets so we can build our science machine. Ooh. I'll take this. What does she think about this dead guy? I envy his escape. Holy crap! She's much darker of a creation than I thought. I guess, though, if your sister was a ghost, maybe it would make you reconsider some things in quite the strange ways. So I can't blame her too much. Yes! Beefalo poop? Alright, I will be razoring these guys early on. Because I don't... Does wool go bad? Wool can't go bad, right? If I razor these guys early on, it's not like it's going to rot in my hands, is it? Does wool go bad? I don't think so. 
Lots of you friends around here. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. We're heading to a pig village. These cobblestone roads always seem to lead straight to our piggly wiggly friends. I'm going to grab the poop. Wendy ain't afraid of it, although it probably makes me smell really vomitrocious. I don't mind, though. As long as it keeps the characters and creatures away. I'm fine with smelling yucky. And um, we'll get the rocks because I need them. I really would rather gold, though. I can't carry anything more. Okay, let's um, eat our toasted seeds then. 16 piles. It's raining. It's pouring. The old man is snoring. Chester, my man. Oh my god, are we lucky or what? Chester, baby. Welcome to life. I've found you. Oh my goodness. Two in a row. Chester, my man. Oh yeah, the man of the plan. Welcome back. Welcome back. Back. All right, store all our goodies. Thanks. All right, pigs and pigs. Oh, what is, are you? Why you're like crazy? Whoa! Holy cow! What? Did, what freaking wild de demon devil pigs? I goodness gracious! There's a ferocious uh, village of freakazoid pigs. I'm gonna stay the freak away from big, bad, ugly jerks, mean and malicious. You suck. All right, where is the gold? I'm venturing far away from home, which probs isn't in my best interest, but... <laughs> I need some rocks. I'm just going to go up to this, the top of this area. Chester, my buddy. Oh, yeah. I'm really so glad we found him. They are bright and cheery. Yuck. Dang. Wendy's a little bit depressing. <laughs> what is this? That's not an ordinary carrot. What is that? Mandrake? Are you evil? What is a mandrake? A new item on the first... First bit of Wendy's life? We found a mandrake forest? What do I do with them? Alright, I gotta head back south. Um, I'm gonna venture wide. Okay, these are regular pigs. Don't try and kill me. Right, we're friends. Yo, yo. Yo, bro. We like you, you like me, mandrakes, make everyone creep crazy, <laughs> yes. We're gonna get our science machine on day two. I love it, I love it. Hey, equip it. Yes. Rocks and nuggets, flint, and flowers. Ooh, baby. All right. Now then, I just gotta find a way home before nighttime. Should we grab some shrooms? Oh, hey, you take this mandrake in case it like wakes up and tries to kill me. Oh god, I ate the mandrake! Oh, that's not good. I forgot, to, I pressed right instead of left. I have a mandrake in my body. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I kind of want to go grab another one now. Should I grab another one? I kind of want a mandrake. I don't know what it's good for. What is it good for? Hopefully it's more valuable than war, which is good for nothing. Darkness will be here soon. Mandrake! Okay. Pigs and spiders duking it out. I'm not taking part in that. Not until I have Abigail. Her flower is still, uh, still hibernating, as far as I can tell. Let's run back home. Um, I don't want to go in the their area. So let's see if we can. Well, th is this path gonna take me straight to him, or is it gonna venture wide? I hope it ventures wide. And let's make sure we don't eat another mandrake. I feel a stomachache coming on. <laughs> this isn't good. All right. Just trying to open up some of the map as I wander home. I don't want to wander too much. Like I said, productivity is our best friend. Please, is there a connection? No, dagnabbit. I don't know that I'm gonna make it home in time. Wendy, you gotta put on your running boots. Can I get like Hermes feet for her, please? Someone toss them down from the heavens above. Um. Don't bother me, you freaky faction of weirdos. Protecting your king, I don't even see him. Psychopaths. This game is like, you know, it, it really straddles that border between cute and creepy, you know, in, in almost every way. There's there's things like, wow, that's kind of cute. And then it's like, oh, it's also kind of creepy. Koala font. I've never found one of these guys, and it's this way, which is nice. So as we head back to base, we'll also stay on the track of the guy with the legendary trunk. I need it, and I feel like I hit another freaking dead end. Oh, my God, oh, my God, Wendy. Uh, I don't want to go after the trunkzilla right now because... I don't, I don't, I need a log suit, you know, I need Abigail, I need things like that. 
that are, that are going to assist me, really, um, in, in doing work. Um, tummy is fine, health is fine, sanity is A-OK. -okay. Let's see if we can hopefully run down before the end of the day. Wendy, oh Wendy, past the beefalo herds. So many of them to shave, I'm going to dress myself in beef hair. That's going to be awesome. Okay. Um, I can make it. Right? Yes. I think. How close am I? It's going to be a real close, real, really close. <laughs> Run like the wind. You can do it, girl. Oh, I'm going to make it. I got you. I got you. Where is it? Oh, my. This is a good area. I like this area, by the way. There's a lot of good resources and stuff here. Okay. Whew. Good golly, Miss Molly. Science machine it. Ooh la la. All right, right off the bat, um, I need ropes a cord. Ropes a cord. Look at this. We got so many resources. We're in real good shape. I feel so strong about this wrong. I've got confidence. I don't know if you can tell, but it's something I have. Oh, Abigail's flower is open. So like I said, we got to drop this on the ground, and then we're going to kill something by it, which is a little creepy. I could kill Chester, but that would be mean. I can sense Abigail's presence growing stronger. Good. I'm going to pick it up. And we will, uh, take care of business. Um, I need two logs. Crabarella. Okay, we'll get that in the morning. Alchemy engine is a ways away. And I need more stone also. I'm going to craft a trap here. Um, you store my drake. I don't want to hold on to him. Um, let's cook. I ate it. I keep pressing eat instead of cooking. Why do I do such a thing? Why do I do such a thing? Oh, it's because I wasn't right by. Uh huh. All right. Um. Let's make the razor. I'm just gonna store it right off the bat. Let's make the shovel. Wait, not the regal shovel. I also want these other pickaxes, the luxury axe and all that. I, 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 get, I gotta get those right away um, for a quicker everything. Just why not, right? Why not be really nice and fast about stuff? Um, did he eat my trap? No, there's my trap. Okay. So, daybreak is here. We need two more log liciouses. I'm gonna go drop this down so we can summon Abigail before the day is done. Um, how are we on food? I need another quarry. Well, I need any quarry. We just got lucky with that one rock. Perhaps we can venture south. Um, let's see. Drop a trappy right here. Hide it by the grass. They'll never guess. Um, and I hope when we come back that we'll have a rab bit banicula. <laughs> hope it's not banicula, to be honest. Um, all right, I've got some berries and some seeds, so we're okay. My strategy is, is really... One of them, rather, is to just not really skip over stuff. Do you notice that this map has a lot of dead ends? There's, like, a lot of islands. It's very jaggedy. Maybe not even islands, but just peninsulas everywhere. Strange, isn't it? But cool. It, it's interesting to get addicted to this world. You know, we were so into Willow's place. I felt like I had that map down pat. I felt really comfy with it, all the, the surrounding areas. But it's cool to explore a brand new one. It's fun to find out the intricacies of this whole new world. I should have built my backpack, by the way. Um, I guess I just stopped with it because um, I have Chester and I didn't feel as needed Qualifant. Yeah, he's up. Well, he's, he's west from here. Uh, I, need, I need a field. I really could use a field. I mean, a, a rock field. A bed of rocks? I want to find the Flintstones is basically what I'm trying to say. All right. More Qualifant Trails. Thank you for telling me to point uh, my face in the direction of his footprints. That makes good sense. Before I was like, how do you read these darn things? Now I know. All right, he's up this way. See, again, lots of areas where there's no... Is this be dead? No, he was just sipping some pollen. <laughs> Feeling a little fruity. I understand. Honey is delicious. It's actually pollen he's eating, right? So he's not really eating honey. That's a horrible misconception. Alright, this guy walks in the most weird ways, by the way. I need rocks. Like, dudes. Finding a qualifant is going to be sweet. But I need rocks. 
Rocks and socks. Let's uh, let's trace in our area rather than just heading in one direction. <laughs> Aha! Dead men tell no tales, and they also have nothing. Ooh! What is this? Bones. An evil beast. Football helmet. Yeah, baby. Oh, that's one. Of the Log suit. I didn't have to build it. They're at 100 percent spear. Some sort of crazy battle went on here. That's making me a little nervous, to be honest with you. But I am, I am, I am armored out to the hilt now. Okay, we're pretty far away from home, but great. Angry bees, and I didn't even get to pick it up. Not good. Not good. Chester, run away. Oh, walrus camp. Okay, good. Good thing we found that. <laughs> Don't park your butt down here when the winter time comes. Lesson number one. Oh, rocks! Rocks and socks and fox and box. What the freak are you? If I had Abigail, she would have taken care of business there. You would have got to see her prowess. Um, this is absurd. There are literally no rocks in sight. What is going on? They gave me a map with no stone. I can't build my alchemy engine without it. Um... So, odd as it may- oh yes, finally found it. Is there something south? What's south? There's some creature. Oh, it's a bunny. Whew. It's like what? <gasps> Tall birds shoot! God dang it. Okay. We're here at the quarry, guys. I can't go in. Oh my god! What is this? What is this? Maxwell's door? Isn't this to the end game? Well, we've located it. I surely can't use it. Holy crap, what an exciting first episode. What are those things? What are those things? Ah! No! <gasps> no! Run away. I don't I don't know. I don't think I'm not gonna be able to build those are advanced like tier something bees. I don't like that. I get chills when I see the monsters in this game. They really weird me out. Like I said, cool, cute, creepy. It, it, it toes the line very strangely. Um, I'm going to head back to camp. Got a bunch of resources. We found the football helmet. We found the log suit. So I'm prepared for battle. But I really want Abigail to welcome herself to this world. And um, I'm, I, I'm short gold, which stinks. A big one. Um, you know, it's it's just something we're gonna have to find. I, I guess I don't quite need an alchemy engine right this very second. It's like, it's okay if I waited a few days. Um, we've got a bunch of resources, which is the good, good part of life here. I thought I was gonna have, I was like, yes, quarry, 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 tall birds, no! Um, did they get marked on our map? Okay, yeah, the tier bees and they didn't get marked there, but we know they're there. There's also Maxwell's door. Spooky, isn't it? Never seen that before. I'm hoping there's a rabbit in here. Yeah, baby. Okay. Um, you take my rope, bro. Thanks. I'm gonna take this. And now you can't just murder it. You have to actually kill it in front of Abigail. She's weird like that. So. These are good sleepy time videos, I feel. I, this is a totally random story. Uh, but I, I like playing Don't Starve before I go to bed. And I like watching it before I go to bed, as weird as that may sound. Um, I don't know, I just think it's high time. High don't starve time is late at night. Just, it just feels like that to me. Okay. Um, so let's do... What do I want to do here? Um, take the carrots. I don't really need them right now. I'm gonna cook this up, and I guess we'll bring out Abigail. To say hello before everything is... Three days? I think three days is cool. We'll do three days and call it quits for our first... Our first welcome to the world with Wendy. What do you think of her? She's pretty sweet. I think you're going to find her to be a lot sweeter in just a second. Um, I quit my spear. <laughs> Watch this. I have to be careful now because I, I don't want to kill... Um, 
I don't want to kill the bunny too close to Abigail, because then Abigail will come and I'll accidentally hit her. So you, re you ready for this? If I hit her, I'm so sorry. Oh gosh, let's hope this isn't a blooper. Ready? No. No, okay, good. Abigail, yes! And I did not accidentally kill her. Whew, or Chester. My ghostly friend is here. Don't peruse. Just stay by me. Stay by my side. Guide me and keep me safe. Protect me. Protect me. Alright, my sanity is dropping, I think, because of Abigail or something. She's a little creepy, Chester. Is, is she creepy? She's, she's a little creepy. She's a little bit creepy, Chester. She's a little weird. She was once my sister, and now she's a roaming, pupilless, pretty girl. Ghost friend. Um, this is Wendy. This is Don't Starve. This is our new run, and it's shaping up to be one for the record books. If you enjoyed and are ready for more, leave a thumbs up. It helps out a lot, and it makes me smile as I try to make you guys smile with more Don't Starve. Until that time, everyone, thanks again for watching. Fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate. Until next time, as the day breaks, we'll see you all later.